Hello again. In the last tutorial, we saw how we can pass variable arguments to the function and how we can iterate through the variable argument list in order to fetch the different values that was passed as variable arguments. Now in this tutorial, we are going to consider different formats in the variable argument list. Uh, earlier, we considered all the values as integer. Now it can happen that some of them are integer, some of them are float or double, and we can just fetch them here in the function as well. That means the first can be integer, the second can be double, the third can be float, and the fourth can be integer again, and the fifth can be double again. So I'm for the time being considering only three different formats for my function, integer, float, and double. These are the three values that can be passed to the variable list of the sum function. And in this case, what we need is to pass the type information as well to the function. As in case of printf, we used to pass the type information using the format specifiers to the printf function. And using that format specifier, printf gets to know what are the different formatted values those are passed there in the parameter list here. So similar to that, uh, and I'm telling you that we don't have any other way. We need to pass on the format of the values that we are going to pass to the variable argument list of the function. So I'm considering i as the format for integer values in my function, d as the format for double values, and f is the format for floating points. So, and I'm considering that we do not have any other formats. If you understand this, that how this is working, then you can just tackle the other formats as well. So the first parameter here is not going to be the count, it's going to be the character pointer that's going to receive the format. The format is string specific to this function that I am developing right now. So in this case, we are going to allocate the VL list in the same way. So here is going to be format instead of count because format is the last parameter after which the variable argument is starting. And we don't have any count information, uh, rather we have that format string. And I, I have considered that only formats could be passed to the uh, function in the format string and nothing else, no other characters. So what I need to do is to go on up to the length of the format string. If there are three characters in the format string, that means we have three values uh, in, the, in, the, in the variable argument list. Here, if I go on and compare this with this sum calling, then the first one is integer, the second one is double, the third one is floating point, then the fourth one is integer again, so the format string is going to be i here, and the fifth one is again double, so it's going to be d here. So we are having one, two, three, four, five characters passed to this pointer. So it should be up to the length of the format string, and since it's an array, so we should start from zero in order to get the first value from the 0th index. So it's going to be the strlen string length of the format string. And we need to include the string.h for this purpose because we have used the strlen function. And so we are inside the for loop. Now, there are different types of values in the, in the, in the variable argument list. And we need to fetch according to the format character there in the format string. So the next character is format i. In this case, if value for i is 0, then it's the first character. So now we can just switch the character ch and can do the necessary processing. So if it is actually i, then what we need to do is to fetch the value as integer. because i stands for integer in my function. That's my convention. So if this is d, then we need to fetch the value as double. And one more thing, I have declared the variable s as integer. Now it should be declared as double because we have different formatted values, double included. So double is the highest precision value that we have here. So the result is expected to be in double. That's legitimate. So this is going to be via underscore arg and then comes ap and since it is double we need to write type information as double here 
in this. Actually, this VR underscore arc is a macro. If you can just go through the headers, you will find that it's a macro and it is actually rewriting this call by casting the AP list with double pointer. That's it. That's ha happening inside. So here we go. We are having this break statement here after fetching the double value and adding it with the sum variable. Okay, now we have we are left with f. Let me just copy and paste. That would be better. And here we go. It's float. So if we find any other character in the format string, uh, then the default is going to be default section is going to be executed. In that case, I'm just printing a message and terminating the application by saying that it's in invalid format. Invalid format found. So we are terminating this here using the exit function call. And since it it is an unsuccessful termination, so it should be one. So I should include the stdlib.h because I have used the exit function. That's the header for exit. So at the end, what we need is to return the value variable s to the caller that I have already written there. And we have entered the variable argument list as well using v underscore end. So in this case, this is going to be called successfully because we have this format specifier here, format string here and we have passed these values to the function sum so let's change this percent d to percent lf because now it's double and so as this variable k so we're done with the calling now let me go ahead and run this program so here you can see that it's 129.000 i think i have made a little mistake here this should not be integer anymore this should be double because the value that we are returning to the caller is s and s has been declared as double this time and the initialization should be a little bit perfect here 0.0, .0 instead of 0 so here we go we can just execute the program once more to get the accurate result here so here you go it's 129.4 so that's how we use this variable argument list and we can use a format specifier with our own convention in order to pass variable arguments to the function. So thank you very much for watching.